Okay, next thing we're going to do is we're going to do a field strip, or a uh, disassembly rather, on the upper receiver, the slide. To do that, the firing pin stop has to come off in order to remove the firing pin, firing pin spring, the firing pin safety, and the um, ejector, or correction, the extractor. Okay, to start this, you need to remove the firing pin stop which is this piece here. In order to do that you need to depress the firing pin safety. While that's depressed, push the firing pin all the way down. Push this in, depress that, and then while you have the two depressed, just rotate this back and you'll see that this starts to come off. That'll come off far enough that it'll depress the firing pin and firing pin spring in there so that they stay. Put your thumb over the top of it so it doesn't come flying out and then just grab that by the hole and slide it right off. That'll come off in your hand and your finger will keep the firing pin from flying away. Okay, now once you get it that far the firing pin safety is holding the firing pin and if you push the firing pin safety that firing pin will take off across the room. So release the pressure on the firing pin Press on the firing pin safety and let it ease out into your hand and then remove it. Set it aside. If the firing pin spring doesn't come out with it, just depress the firing pin safety again and it should tip right out. Set that aside with the firing pin. Now, your ejector, if you look, right here is your ejector. Okay, if you pull that back just a little bit it will release your firing pin safety and allow that to fall out. Um, if you've got a good spring in there and it's not dirty it'll actually pop out otherwise you might have to jimmy it out a little bit. But let's take the tension off of it and pull this back just like a sixteenth of an inch just enough and it will release that firing pin safety so that it can drop out. As you can see, mine's kind of dirty. I shoot it a lot, but there's your firing pin safety and your firing pin safety spring. Now, once those are out and out of the way, you can grab that ejector or extractor pull that the rest of the way out. Now you'll see this one is for the series 80 so it's got this cutout in it right here. If you don't have a series 80 the series 80 ejector or extractor will fit in your 1911 but if you have a non-series 80 extractor that cutout will not be there. You cannot use a standard extractor in a series 80 firearm because that cutout is where the firing pin safety goes.